Good evening, ghouls and ghosts, and welcome to the latest Minty Reacts for Goosebumps. This episode is The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, and if I remember correctly, this was one of the episodes that I actually really enjoyed as a child growing up watching Goosebumps around Halloween and everything. Um, if I remember correctly, this one actually was one of the more scarier ones of Goosebumps, and as we all kind of know, like, Goosebumps isn't, like, that scary, but there's a couple episodes that can get a little, like, frightening for what they're going for and actually kind of, like, deliver on a little bit of the horror aspect of the show um and the stories themselves and if i remember correctly scarecrow walks at midnight was one of those where it's like wow this is actually kind of good and like if it wasn't meant for kids it could actually be a pretty decent like scary story um but either way i don't really remember much about this episode other than i remember liking it as a child so let's just get into the episode shall we and let's watch it so in three two one let's get spooky scarecrow walks at midnight <laughs> I mean, just with that name already, you're kind of off to a good start. I can get the rest. I can't tell you how much we've missed you. Oh, we're gonna have a great summer. We missed you too. That sounds oddly threatening. <laughs> the scarecrows might just end up catching you. What? What's with Stanley? What? Also, Stan. Is Stanley not your dad? <laughs> Who the hell's Stanley? Get here. I wanted to get some frogs. Go to sleep. The rain should be gone by morning. Also, I'm assuming frog tired. catching is a, like, childhood pastime of kids in the 90s, I guess? And you know what that means. Chocolate chip pancakes. Alright, chocolate chip pancakes. Sounds pretty, pretty tasty. It's not out there. It's just been blown off its post. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See, already this episode kind of gets off to a good spooky start where it's like, okay, no, the adults are scared here. Okay, yeah, this is actually kind of spooky. <laughs> then it just disappears. Okay, then it's just gone. Yeah, that kind of spooky. Cornflakes. Hey, cornflakes. They're good. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I forgot to buy chocolate chips. Ah, mm hmm. Sure, sure. Also, what's the deal with Stanley? What, what is the deal with Stanley? Come on, Mark. Throw it harder. Things are just weird. Not that. That's what they are. They're just weird right now with this family. So, man, he, like, chucked that ball. Where the hell this ball go? Come on! It could not have gone that far. Whoa. I mean, that is a pr pretty spooky looking scarecrow. I made him walk one time. You made him walk. What? Sure enough. What? Once last month, then again about a week before you got here. What does that even mean, Stanley? What does that mean? Jody? Mark! Grandma's gonna get lunch on soon. Ooh, lunch. Not afraid of that too, are you? Come on, Jody. <laughs> Alright, what's the deal with Stanley and what's the deal with Stanley's kid? You two should have never come out here. You know, some definite creepiness in this episode, 100%. With that cereal, Grandma's never forgotten to buy chocolate chips before. Ever. I'm not even I'm sorry, how did you just pronounce cereal? Cereal? Did you just pronounce it cereal? Oh no, he sees the scarecrows moving. Scarecrows, they're moving! Mark, I'm <laughs> tired. You best be closing that window there, kid. Scarecrow's gonna get in. It's <laughs> just the wind. You sure? You're letting Stanley get to you. you also, I'm pretty sure those scarecrows weren't lined up like that in the morning. <laughs> they looked at them. Things that make no sense at all. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe you're right. 
Should still probably close the window, though. Those are some very creepy-looking scarecrows. Like, I'm pretty sure every scarecrow I've ever seen has been just, like, kind of roughly put together and has not been scary. <laughs> yeah, this is actually kind of good, you know? Oh, scarecrow's gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Scarecrow's walking at midday. Also, that scarecrow is making a lot of noise for us into the cornfields. Grandpa? Huh. Mark, is that you? Hmm. The scarecrow's busted apart. What is going on with that? Found Mark. Hmm. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, God, that kid again. Yeah, right. I know you're just trying to scare me, Sticks. It's not funny. I don't know what you're talking about. You pull this junk every time we come to visit. Every year? Every time? I guess so. Blake! That sure was a fine supper. Better get Grandma to let these trousers out if I'm gonna keep eating like this. This is this is this is this Yeah, it's Grandpa Kurt's favorite. Cherry's my favorite. Stanley, what the hell? What is the deal with Stanley? What is the deal with Stanley? This man's holding him hostage. Stanley is holding this family hostage right now. Real scary. <laughs> All right. Now let me think. I don't like those stories. They make me scared. That's kind of the point, Stanley. That is kind of the point. I'm a lot of stories. What is the deal with Stanley? <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> Who is this man and why does he have this family hostage? What is going on? <laughs> is this here on the roof? Because, like, they're on the second story. The... Okay, is she dreaming or are they actually... In... Okay, she's dreaming. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense. Because the characters looked honestly less scary when they look like just people wearing prosthetics and makeup. I gotta say. Oh, Scarecrow was actually inside the house. Uh-oh. Scarecrow! Alright. That... That's just a Scarecrow. I'm pretty sure. That Scarecrow was actually attacking her. Come on, we better get you back to the house. Leave the bikes! I'll get them later. Okay, Stanley. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't sticks that threw that scarecrow at you. Wait, scarecrow just gone? Scarecrow's just gone. I'm gonna go get sticks. You stay here, get ready, and think. Shouldn't be doing this. Scary. They shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, they really shouldn't be doing this. They're messing with things that are above their their pay grade. That's not your brother. There. You're gonna ruin everything. That's not your brother. That's not Mark. That's not Mark. I'm yeah. Alive. My dad did it. Stanley? Come on, come on, get inside. How did Stanley make these things come alive? Found this book full of spells. He thought it'd be cool if the scarecrows were alive so they could really keep the birds off the crops that way. What? What? Just... Just sometimes he's so confused. If you put them all back to sleep, how come they're still walking around? It's literally just a book that says magic spells. That's even funnier. That is even funnier. Besides, I, I, I don't want to fool him with magic no more. Dad! <sighs> Alright, he just he just has a spell book now. Well, how are we going to do that? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find a way, okay, Dad? Come on. I mean, you can always burn him. <laughs> Alright, that's Mark. Stanley, you uh, you have ran yourself into a very bad spot. Hey, Sir Perrigan. Hello, Trispatisma. I just want to know, how did he find a spell book? Where did he get that from? 
he just like go to a thrift store and find it? <laughs> Someone just sending a spellbook to a Goodwill somewhere? Can someone else just take the spell book and find the find the right spell? Again, I will say this one actually kind of scary. This is a good episode of Goosebumps. The barn. It's too dark. We're lost. Jody, I'm scared. All right, the acting on that on that line there of like I'm scared, Jody, I'm scared. I don't know what to do, Jody. I'm scared. <laughs> you know, for these things to be like made of just hay, okay? they uh they have some really good grip strength. It would appear. Now goes or not goes. Again, it's a scarecrow. Just like break its arm off. It has. It's just hay. Sticks. What are you doing? Okay. They're not gone. They're not gone, Sticks. They're not gone. Like, 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 they're not gone. Okay, these things are strong enough to break through, like, the barn walls. That's kind of impressive. These have got, like, some actual strength to them. I was gonna say, it's like, use a, it's a hay baler. Yeah, just, uh, all the kids get out of the way. Gotta say, kind of, uh, kind of gruesome there if you really think about it. I did it! Good job, Mark. Good job. I guess I got to ride the thresher after all. Sorry, thresher is what it's called. The thresher. Mortal around here. You can say that again. <laughs> Dude, don't read the spell. The hay beller rides at midday. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's have the end of episode cliffhanger be the fact that uh, they woke up the thresher and something. Else. It's gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna break down the house now. <laughs> that was an actual good episode. I will say that was a very very good episode of Goosebumps compared to like the compared to Goosebumps. You know, <laughs> compared to actual like Goosebumps episodes, I feel like that one was really really good. Um. It actually did have some nice fright to it, some actual nice, like, spooky moments to it. The premise of it, beyond the magic spell aspect of it, which was just funny. Um, beyond that stuff, it all felt like a actual kind of scary story for the most part. Of like, yeah, these inanimate things that are human-shaped should not be alive. Why are they alive? Why are they coming after us? Like, wh wh what do we do to stop them? Like, that all felt kind of good. It kind of felt a little bit, like, zombie movie-esque. Um, like a little bit like Night of Living Dead, kind of, just like a little bit, but with scarecrows, obviously. Um, and I think that was really cool. I think it was a really good cool idea. Um, <laughs> um, Mark and Jody, I think, were good characters for this one. I think they're good, like, leads for it. Uh, the grandparents actually being scared at the beginning of the scarecrows actually does add to the fright of it because then you have the adult characters that usually either don't care about the frights going on don't notice them or are just absent in the entire story um actually played a little bit of a role here where it's like yeah no we know what's happening here we know what's going on and we're scared of it too that's cool um i also find it interesting the fact that stanley i mean this is the 90s so they were not as you know socially conscious here let's just say that uh, but stanley basically being a neurodivergent character like very much neurodivergently coded for sure um i mean yeah in the 90s is not the best representation of that but at least they did it and did it fairly respectfully for the most part like they didn't they didn't call him names or anything they just said he was slow uh, once but they also said that he was like a farmhand and that's why so it's like i feel like for the time for like the time of the 90s when this came out it's like that's kind of not bad for the most part <laughs> like that it could have been a lot worse they could have said a lot of things about stanley that were way worse but they didn't but they didn't so that's good that's a, that's a good thing there so i think overall this episode is just actually kind of good the music in it's funny the music in it i will say is funny with the like occasional like like twangs of the banjo <laughs> because they're on a farm i guess 
that's kind of funny. Um, but beyond all that, everything else in the episode is actually kind of good. Like, it's it's a kind of a good episode, just overall, with just, like, how it's all presented, how the story plays out, the actual, like, fright of the story, all the characters are pretty good. Everything in it just kind of is a good story. So, like, I, I can definitely see why, and I remember why this one is one of my favorites of, of all Goosebumps that I watched as a kid. Like, this, this one just actually felt like an actual good, spooky story. Um, and I really like it for that. But let me know down in the comments below, do you remember watching this one as a kid, and, or or did you like this episode at all? Did you also find it kind of a little spooky as well? If you did, let me know that down in the comments below. If you like this reaction video, leave a like. It helps out in the algorithm. It helps out in all the other stuff to boost everything up so more people can, so more people can find the channel. And if you uh, want to help support the channel as well, there are multiple ways you can do that. There is the first way, which is the free way. Just go ahead and subscribe down below. We are on the journey to 1,000 subscribers. We're going to hopefully try and get there before the end of the year. If not, whatever. Um... But that is the easy way to do it. And if you want to help monetarily support a little bit more, uh, you can go ahead and in the link below is a link to my new Patreon that I have uh, set up. Um, $3, you can sign up for that and then just get behind the scenes videos that I will upload eventually. Um, behind the scenes videos of just video commentary. So like the episode, like the episode isn't here, just not edited, just full commentary so you can just watch along with it. But beyond all that stuff, if you want to see more from the channel, right over here is going to be a playlist for the rest of the Goosebumps. Go ahead and watch those as well. And over here is going to be a video that YouTube recommends for you as well. Until next time, stay spooky, stay scary, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, woo. Ooh.